Smokeless Chimney, Smoke ID, Color Matters, February 9th, 2023, The Best Flames on the Net. We started the week with uh, measuring opacity and color. You'll notice in this that the two curves are, well, conflicting as far as the direction. As the smoke picks up, the color temperature drops from 4,900 down to around 4,600. The other thing you'll notice here, and I'll use a few graphs to show. Here's a diagram of the setup with the white light LED source on the left and the sensor on the right, and the smoke being the subject of interest. The center is a chimney. We found that the timing of the color deflection and the opacity above 20% was quite convincing that you can measure one or the other and still result in something. I overlaid the two graphs and you can kind of see that uh, when I convert the light color to wavelength, there's similar peaks and there's differing peaks. So there's different information coming across using the same sensor. This is our cat. And this cat only wants to be where she wants to be. And in this case, she wants to be in front of this wood stove. And so I have to keep the wood stove lit. And none of this equipment that I have scares her off. This is some data that I collected this week. It's a combination of opacity and color. You can see that I start up around 14.8 hours and there's a brief excursion above 20%. This is normal. Around 16 hours, I put in 50 grams of epoxy resin. You can see that I go over 20%, but not for very long. You can also see there's not much of a color uh, change during that stage. The opacity comes back down to zero, and then I put 62 grams of TPU on. That's a thermoplastic uh, polyurethane. You can see that it was going up, and then I had a problem. I lost power on the octoring. The rest of this video is simply watching fire. Uh, this is the point where I put 62 grams of TPU in. Uh, 62 grams is very, not very much, and uh, it was simply some scrap that I had. I don't want anybody else to do this. It's simply so I can measure my smoke system. I could have cleaned my glass. The uh, opacity system is working well, but we're finding that the color uh, sensor on the system can determine things in a different way than the opacity measurement alone can. And I'm searching out what it's useful for. Uh, it's possible I can determine how much moisture is in the wood, but that yeah, I'm still trying to determine that. For the most part, uh, the, the system is working well enough that I can get good data off of it. I can present that data to you and uh, would like everybody to like and subscribe. Uh, it helps me keep these videos going. I like making videos of fire. I like measuring fire. And I want to keep this thing going. Sooty materials are, are the types of fuels that will make your yellow flames. Uh, what the yellow flames are, are the molecules vibrating at the yellow frequency. Uh, and fuel without soot particles will not be luminescent. Uh, fuel with soot particles will be luminescent, and uh, this TPU becomes 
quite luminescent. Smokeless Chimney, www.smokelesschimney.com, Facebook, Reddit, and YouTube.